Hey everybody, Omar here, the Knife Shark Guy, and I am back with another fun-filled video for you. And today, we're going to be uh, going over part two of my custom knife collection. Uh, again, I'm going to apologize ahead of time if I don't remember the names of a lot of these knives. or the I mean, but I can, you know, the model names of all these knives. Uh, but I can certainly tell you the uh, maker and the materials that they use to make the knife. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the Trevor Berger uh, front flipper piece with uh, Acid Wash Blade M390. We have a blue um, fat carbon fiber bolster and uh, uh, lightning strike carbon fiber for the uh, bottom half of the knife, the scale. And same on the back side. The blade on this one is M390. Really very, very cool. The name of this knife is called the EXK Front Flipper. So there's one that I remembered. And this one, I don't remember the, um, the model name of it. Uh, this is uh, a collaborative knife by Andre Van Heerden and Andre Thorburn, hence the A2. On the uh, blade there, we have uh, lightning strike carbon fiber with the copper running through it. On both sides, a nice titanium grayish pocket clip. Uh, the steel on this knife is Nitrobe 77. Quite an exotic steel and very rare these days, but ridiculously super sharp. And let's move on to Andre Thorburn by himself this time, creating the L51 Compact Flipper. Uh, this one is blue carbon fiber, fat blue carbon fiber. The entire knife is blue, which was the attraction uh, for me on this piece, including the pivot itself, is blue. Uh, steel on this knife is CTS XHP. File works all done by hand. Really very nice. The next one is the 48, L48 front flipper, I believe is the name of it. Um, this one, it has a zirconium for the uh, bolster work. And we have light, and we have a marble, shredded marble carbon fiber for the scale on this one. Again, the file work is all done by hand. Really spectacular looking piece. Uh, runs on ceramic bearings, super duper smooth. Moving on uh, with the Rucus Blue Maris, uh, this one is. I. Oh, God, I wish I remember. I don't remember the name of this one, but we have a Damascus bolster. Shredded marble carbon fiber on both sides of the knife. We have a silver titanium pocket clip and a carbon fiber backspacer. And uh, the blade on this one is M390. I've actually used this one quite a bit. Um, all my knives are users. They're just lightly used, but I do use them. Uh, whatever knife happens to be in my pocket that day, if I need to cut something, I use it. Uh, so this is, uh, yeah, by um, Evergus Blumeris. Really very nice. Runs on regular ball bearings. The reason it drops shut is because it's actually a very heavy knife. And the blade is actually quite heavy. So, really very smooth. Moving on down the line, we have Willem Steenkamp. Uh, this one has white carbon fiber and black carbon fiber scales on it, on both sides. We've got a really nice titanium silver pocket clip that matches a, uh, 
matches the uh, the pivot really very very nice. Steel on this one's a little different. It's CPM 154. A good steel. Love to have it. I'm also a fan in my collection of collecting all the different steels that are out there. Um, I, I think it's kind of important to experience everything. Um, Seals just one of those things. What I love about this knife is it kind of reminds me of like a Hollywood cowboy, I guess. Like, you know, from those television shows, you know, the guy that gets off a, gets off a white horse, you know, with the uh, that big silver belt buckle. Kind of reminds me of, of this pivot here. So I kind of like this knife a lot. Just aesthetically pleasing to me. Willem Steenkamp. The next one is by one of my favorites. This is uh, J.D. Van Deventer. The steel on this one is M390. Uh, the materials on this one, and I forgot the name of this one too. God. The materials on this one are blue fat carbon fiber and uh, black shredded marble carbon fiber. On the scales on both sides, really very, very pretty. We have a G10 backspacer. And then he comes right back at us with a zirconium uh, pocket clip. Really very cool. This is what you would call, I guess, a forward front flipper, technically. Really very smooth. Runs on regular ball bearings. And here we have a knife by uh, Andre Thorburn's son-in-law, Keith Kruger. He's being brought into the business as well. Uh, this is a one-of-a-kind handmade piece. We have marble carbon fiber uh, scale. And then on the uh, scale here, we have red micarta on both sides of the knife the steel on this one is uh n690 i'm also going to be uh selling this knife as well uh, on ebay in the next couple of weeks so smack dab in the middle of my collection i have a slip joint and the only slip joint that i currently own made for me by jd ellis Really great knife maker. Uh, this one's quite special. It's my 4th of July knife. And uh, he has um, never made stars on a knife before. He had to figure out how to do that, which makes this knife very special. Uh, we have a Damascus blade. Really very nice with the stars and stripes. Just exquisite work by J.D. Ellis. Again, the only slip joint that I have in my collection. I hope to have some more. At least a couple more of these um, slip joints in the collection would be kind of nice. And moving on down the line, we are back with a Rucus Blumeris uh, front flipper. I don't remember the model number of this one. Uh, but we have a titanium bolster, bronze colored. Lightning strike bronze carbon fiber with the bronze liners. Steel on this knife is M390. Really very nice. And for the backspacer, get this, the backspacer is M390. <laughs> I have never heard of someone using M390 steel as backspacer, but it works. And moving on, we have a frame lock by Trevor Berger, lightning strike carbon fiber, a blue titanium pivot ring, uh, all titanium on the other side with a blue titanium pocket clip. Blade on this one is M390. Moving on, we have 
uh, another small one, small knife by on by Ar uh, John Arnold. Uh, we have a uh, black marble carbon fiber scales inlays on zirconium uh, scales. Really, very nice. Not sure what the backspacer is. I think it's just uh, stainless steel. I'm not sure. Blue titanium pocket clip. Really very nice. Steel on this one is M390. Runs on regular ball bearings. Very, very smooth. Very, very nice. The next one... Uh, by J.D. Van DeVinter. This is a uh, one-of-a-kind handmade uh, knife. Can't get that one open all of a sudden. wonder why. There you go. Uh, we have white micarta and uh, copper. Uh, we have lightning strike uh, copper on that. Titanium on the other side, but sort of like a bronze color. Titanium deep pocket clip. The steel on this knife is uh, N690. Really very nice. The next one is by Des Horn. Uh, this is actually a full dress piece, I just realized. Uh, this one is... Uh, Made by Deshorn with a Damascus blade and uh, copper lightning strike carbon fiber. Uh, not sure what this material is. I believe it's um, probably just steel or something. We have what's called a release ball, which is uh, Deshorn's signature uh, re release ball. Basically, the way it works is you press the ball and then you can close the knife. It's a front flipper piece. Really very, very nice. Damascus backspacer, although can't really tell on this light. But yeah, it's a Damascus backspacer on that one. Lightning strike carbon fiber. This one's made completely by hand. There's no machines being used in the making of this knife at all. Absolutely exquisite work by Des Horn. This one is by uh, Willem Steenkamp. We have Lightning Strike Carbon Fiber and G10 mixed in together on this knife. Blade steel on it is M390. And we have a black titanium pocket clip. Another perfect little front flipper release. The, um, the the knife is crowned on the top there. So it feels really nice in the hand when you're doing other tasks. We have a black uh, carbon fiber backspacer. Really very nice. And for my last knife in my collection... Uh, like I said, I am missing two knives. We'll be getting them back in about five weeks' time. Uh, this one is the uh, sister to this knife. These are actually similar knives. They're the same exact model, but this one is a pivotless, a pivotless knife uh, versus the one. Uh, this is pivotless versus the one that has a pivot on it. But they're the same model knife. Uh, this one. Let me put this one back. This one is all white G10. It's also a front flipper. Blade steel on it is uh, M390, as is the pack spacer. That is also M390 with a uh, zirconium uh, ball for the pocket clip. And the pocket clip is made of titanium. So there you have it. This is Omar, the Knife Shark Guy. This is my collection. Just wanted to update the collection again with all my uh, YouTube peeps and share this with you. 
If you see a knife on this table that you uh, want more information on, contact me. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. But again, if you're interested in getting a uh, your first custom knife, check out the Belay Gallery. They have a large collection of uh, South African knives. In fact, uh, more than half of what you see on this table came from the Blade Gallery. So this is Omar, the Knife Shark Guy, signing off. Uh, hoping you'll find one of these guys in your collection someday. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much. Have a great evening.